I'm Amp and today we're going to look at subtracting 100 and 1000 from a number. I'm going to use place value counters to help me, then I'm going to show you by drawing pictures. I've used place value counters to make the number 4654. I've used 4 1000 counters for the 4000, 6 100 counters for the 600, 5 tens counters for the 50 and 4 ones counters for the 4. First, I'm going to look at subtracting 100 from this number. To subtract 100 from this number, I only need to look at the hundreds column as a thousand tens and ones won't change. To subtract 100, I need to take a hundred counter. So my number now is 4,554. If I want to subtract 1,000 from this number, I only need to look at the thousands column. To subtract 1,000, I need to remove a thousand counter. So my number now is 3,554. We can also draw a picture to help us understand this. I've drawn out the counters for the number 4,654. To subtract 100, I need to about a 100 counter, which makes my number 4,554. Then to subtract 1,000, I'm going to about a 1,000 counter. Which makes my number 3,554. This time we're going to look at why sometimes when we subtract to 100 the thousands also change. My number here is 6,035. If I want to take away 100 there is a problem. There are no hundreds in the hundreds column for me to take away. I'm going to exchange one of my thousands for ten hundred and put them in the hundreds column. I'm going to take one hundred away. We now have five thousand nine hundred three tens and five ones. So 6,035 take away 100 equals 5,935. I can also draw a picture to help us understand this. I have drawn out the counters for the number 6,035. I have no hundreds to rub out so I need to exchange one of my thousands for ten hundreds and draw them in the hundreds column. I can now take away 100. So my number now is 5,935. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye.